the news that the Savile Report into the events of Bloody Sunday has concluded that those killed and injured were innocent and victims of unjustifiable firing by British soldiers. Kai Lark has been following developments. Um, Kai, what's been happening then? Well, first to respond was General Sir Mike Jackson. The early reports uh, you saw, uh, he had been uh, personally criticised by one of the relatives in that report um, that I just brought to you. And um, he has since issued the statement. And he says that all the good work of all of those soldiers who, de who were deployed to Northern Ireland must not be tainted by this report. Over the 38 years of the Army's operational deployment in the province, the vast majority of the some 250,000 soldiers who served there behaved admirably, often in the face of severe provocation and with the loss of several hundred lives and over 6,000 wounded. Northern Ireland today is a very different place to what it was those 40 years ago, not least because of those sacrifices. And I ask that Lord Savile's report be seen in this context. Now, there's also been a statement from uh, the Chief of the General Staff, General Sir David Richards, and he says he fully supports the apology that was made by the Prime Minister on behalf of the country, the government and the army. And he goes on to say, we must never forget the tragic events of Bloody Sunday. In the 38 years since the tragic day's events, lessons have been learnt. Kaya, thank you very much for that.